The city of Charleston is known for its warmth and hospitality. Its people there are now pulling together even more in the wake of the church shooting. CCTV's Rowie Ruttenberg spoke with residents about their city, community, and grief. Tell us a little bit about what is Charleston. Charleston's a friendly uh, city. Uh, we, we welcome people from all over the, the world. Obviously, it's a tourist destination. This is where I bring my kids. This is where we play. This is where we have our family time. We all, black and white, it's all American city. That's what it is. Do you think that there's racism here? Not at all. No. no. I've never encountered any racism or problems with races here. We're like every other, every part of the country, um, well, you know, the world, too. There's awful things that are happening to people because of, uh, you know, with the color of their skin and where they come from. I don't want everybody to think that Charleston is a, is a, as a racist town, but yes, we do have our problems just like anybody else in this country. How did what happened Wednesday make you feel? It hurt. We just drove past the church, and I got so mad I wanted to cry. I wanted to fight, and I wasn't raised that way. It's heartbreaking to know that, you know, people definitely still hold that, that hatred feeling. I'm so sad to see this happen to our town. I can understand better if you just walked in and killed everybody. But to sit there and mingle and talk about God and worship for about an hour, I, I can't wrap my head around that. What happened is not representative of the city at all. What do you think it's going to take for Charleston to heal? It's going to take a little time, but like, we always bounce back. We don't really deal with that on a day-to-day -day basis, like all of the racism that like, kind of came so suddenly. Um, probably time and just each other, really. Happiness is mine. Happiness today is mine. This is not going to get us down. We'll be down for a moment. We will all stand up. We'll all learn to work together again and love each other. Even though this terrible thing happened, I mean, Charleston's still going to be this beautiful city everyone loves. I wish that more people would come together uh, in love and in, and in peace and try to be more respectful to one another. In my mind, the best way to handle this is to kind of take the positive out of the negative. You know, trying to find a silver lining in it is that it's going to make us a closer and, and tighter community. Ms. Rowie Ruttenberg reporting.